Do you want to learn how to make a suet log feeder out of an old piece of wood? I'm going to show you how. Hi, it's Jeff with Backyard Birds. I'm going to show you how to take an old log and turn it into a hanging suet feeder. If you like learning helpful tips on feeding the birds or improving habitat in your yard, you might want to think about subscribing to my channel. It doesn't cost anything and all you do is click on the red subscribe button below the video. Let's just go through the process to, to uh, make this feeder. Obviously you need a log and you want your log to be about two and a half to three inches in diameter and I think about the best length is around two feet. You drill a hole, you rotate a quarter turn, go down about an inch and a half, drill another hole, another quarter turn, drill another hole, another quarter turn, drill another hole, and so on. That way the holes don't connect to each other. And each hole should be about an inch deep and you can kind of tell it's about one knuckles, one finger knuckle deep. You're going to need an eye screw to hang the feeder from a hook. Another thing I think it's a good idea to not place a hole right at the top near the top but down a few inches because birds will perch here and reach down and, and, and steal the suet. I like to use this mostly for feeding woodpeckers because they can just cling to the log just like it's a tree because it is a tree and eat the suet. But you'll find some other really neat birds that feed on these feeders like brown creepers which are really not found too often at bird feeders but brown creepers love to cr cling to these and eat the suet. When you're selecting logs for a suet feeder, you can leave the bark on, but I really like the logs that have the bark removed because things like starlings can't cling to it as easily. And most of your birds that like to eat off of a suet log feeder, they can cling to this just perfectly easily. This suet feeder was made from elm. I like to use a lighter wood. Try to use a local wood where you are. Don't transport wood from one state to another because that's a good way to transport diseases and insects like the emerald ash borer. So really any kind of wood that you have locally, you could find wood from say a tree cutting service. You could even just use a piece of firewood. You have a couple options for drilling your holes. Um, on the left is a Forstner bit. They cost a little more, but boy, they sure do a nice job of cutting. The bit on the right is a spade bit, and it will work also, but my preference is the Forstner bit. The bit you want to use for drilling your hole should be one inch in diameter. When drilling the holes in the suet log, you're going to want to use a drill press because you can set the RPM at a, at a slow rate so the drill bit doesn't burn the wood and get hot. I'm using my Shopsmith to drill with and it converts into a drill press but if you have a standalone drill press that'd be even better. As you can see I've got the Shopsmith set to its slowest speed and that's the speed you want when you're drilling. I also recommend that you use a drill press vise and as you can see this has been secured to the uh, table with a couple of bolts. You want to adjust the vise so when you put the log on the vise the drill bit drills into the center of the log. So I would recommend making three or four of these feeders and hanging them in separate parts of your property to give different birds a chance to feed. So before we start drilling, we want to make sure our log is, is even and smooth all around. So like here I took off a knot that was sticking out and I just used an ax to take that off. Here's another spot I took off. So let's drill our first hole. And we want to drill it about an inch deep. Turn off our drill press so we can examine it. And that's about a knuckle deep, that's about an inch. That's what we want. Now, to drill our next hole, we don't want to drill it opposite of that hole really because we don't want our holes to connect. So we move down so that we're below that hole. We want to be fully below that hole and then we're going to turn it a quarter turn. 
So that's where our next hole will be. If I drill it right adjacent to it, the hole will connect and we don't want that. So let's drill our second hole. So you can see we're about a knuckle deep. We came down enough so the two holes do not connect. So we'll do the same thing again. We'll come down more than the width of the hole. And then we're going to rotate a quarter turn to drill our next hole. And we'll continue doing that till we get to the center of the log. Now we're at the center of our log, so we're going to flip the log around. So we've got that hole, we've got this hole. And we need a hole there, so we're going to measure so we're down below that hole. Quarter turn. Drill the hole. So now we'll continue drilling till we're a few inches from the bottom. This knot is, is kind of keeping us from being even. So I'm going to cut that off a little more. So you can see now I've made that smooth. So now we've got an, a firm surface for drilling. So we measure and I see I need to tighten this up a little to get it centered. Do a quarter turn and drill. So we move down from our hole a bit, quarter turn, and a quarter turn is going to be right on a knot. I don't really want to drill right on a knot. So let's do another quarter turn and drill right there. So that completes our drilling. So you can see all our holes. So let's drill our hole. We'll just position our drill, drill in. And now let's start the eye screw just by with our fingers. If you twist, and then what works really well is to take a screwdriver, insert it in, and just twist it around. And now our eye screw is in there secure, and it's ready for hanging. So this is our completed suet log feeder, and you can see it's got three holes on each side. And I think that works really well for a feeder. And they're spaced out enough that a, a woodpecker can perch and feed at the feeder. And you only want to serve homemade suet in this. And use the recipe that I'll post in this video. I'll put a link to it. So I'm gonna stuff some suet into some of these holes and serve it. So here's some homemade suet. We'll just stuff it in. A little more in and fill up the hole but if you want you can just you can put a smaller portion in the hole so this is how you hang the suet log feeder from a hook so let's see if anything comes to the feeder minutes after putting up this feeder this female downy woodpecker showed up and you can see how much she loves feeding at the feeder you can find links in the description of this video for the Forstner bit, the spade bit, the drill vise, and the eye screw if you need to purchase them. So that's all there is to making a suet log feeder. If you found this video useful and helpful, you may want to subscribe to my channel. And also give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and leave any questions or comments below. 
Thanks for watching the Backyard Birds channel and I'll see you next time.